Welcome into a double um, review. I'm going to review two things and just put it into one video. Um, I'm going to be reviewing, as far as I know, is whatever. I'm going to be reviewing the Gatorade Protein Shake Vanilla. Which, um, when you compare this one to the chocolate, the chocolate has more potassium. It has a little bit more fiber. Chocolate has one gram less of sugar. And then when it comes to the iron, there is a little bit in chocolate, but none in the <coughs> vanilla flavor. So 20 grams of protein, 21 grams of sugar, 1 gram of fiber, 45% calcium, 270 calories, gram of fat. Um, it says on here, imported but by PepsiCo but it doesn't really say anything so I don't know where these got like imported from but PepsiCo has something to do with me finding these that's the vanilla protein shake and we'll be looking at Frocker folks the middle finger energy drink <laughs> okay this energy drink it's a uh, the bottle here was put together by a company out in Italy Apparently they had a little bit of a difficulty getting it so it would properly like stand up straight with the middle finger, I heard. Um, this is considered an energy drink, but considered one of those healthy ones. Now, I don't have the order that the ingredients are in, but the worst thing that's in this is sugar. Now, I don't know how much sugar is in this. Actually, I don't really know how much of anything's in this. There's sugar in here. There's a... Uh, Spring water from an underground well that's not been tampered with. There's ginger in here. There's granite seed extracted in here. There's yerba mate extracted in here. It has lemongrass and lemon juice. And apparently lemon juice can be good for if you have like a headache. It, or I mean a fever. It helps with that supposedly. So I tried to find the information online as to how much caffeine this would contain. The company's website won't say. Um, I couldn't find it on that energy thing site. And when I asked them up on Facebook if they could find out the information, when they wrote back to me, they were just saying, well, they don't have to list the caffeine content because it doesn't say caffeine in the ingredients. And they said with the caffeine sources coming from like your grana and your mate, they say it's probably just low caffeine amount. Because there's a little label at the bottom. I mean, the language on here is spelling the way I would spell stuff, but you know it's not English, because I can't like make out what the words are, and some of them have all those like lines over top of some of the letters. But I mean, it still looks like the English kind of alphabet, you know? It doesn't look like Arabic or Chinese or anything like that. But I can tell in here it's saying about Grana and your mate in here. Really, that's about it. It's 370 milliliters. So, yeah. We'll start with the protein shake. Oh, yeah, I had to peel it off like that. Should have peeled this off off camera. Be easy or a pain in the ass. Um, I'll tell you with the chocolate one. I'm not gonna explain if it tasted like pretty much all the other chocolate shakes out there, or if it had like its own little taste or anything. You have to check out the video to find out. But what I can tell you is, um, the other one had 20 grams of sugar, where this has 21 grams, but they both still have 19 milligrams of the stupid sucrose. And with the chocolate one, when most of it was done and there was just like a chunk left to go, the sugar and the sucrose, the way they kind of combine together, uh, it actually made me feel like a little weird or gave me a little pain or something. There was something about it that I thought was from the sugars and the sucrose sweetener to do with that one that wasn't great. So, I mean, so far, my, my um, Thoughts with Gatorade's protein chase is it tastes good and they start off good and most of the time you're drinking it, nothing wrong with it, but then there's like 
a little problem when most of it's done. Just like the way it's tasting or making you feel, you know? Stupid sugars and sweeteners. Okay. And yeah. So that's how the vanilla one comes out. Like that white brownish color, I guess. Um that smell might be a little I'm not saying it dead on is, but it might be kind of almost like an ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Or maybe they're trying to make it almost like a French vanilla. Definitely doesn't just smell like vanilla or just milk, you know? Kind of like they're trying to make it like a French vanilla or kind of like a nice green vanilla. Kind of, you know? So let's taste it now. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely vanilla. These protein shakes are from the recovery series. High quality whey and casein proteins. Protein to help rebuild muscles. Um, yeah. It's a vanilla taste that's like on the creamy side and doesn't taste 100% like plain vanilla. It's like a creamier vanilla. So, yeah, it is trying to be like the things I said. I don't think I could do this one in a big serving. With this one being a gram of sugar sweeter than the chocolate, it really shows. That's just a little sweetness to it that I can tell. Could get annoying after a while. So for the start, vanilla is good. I think I would get sick off it or something because, yeah, there's like some sweetness or something combining with that taste now, which is bugging me a little. So I guess overall not bad, but thank goodness it's this serving. And um, chocolate one's probably better, but yeah, they do bug you a bit. I'm blaming it on the sugars and the sucrose. Now on the frocker, folks, the middle finger energy drink. A Czech Republic beverage that is healthy for you. It's like a little star up in there. Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess it's got your generic energy drink look. It's very carbonated. Looks like a generic energy drink or like a ginger ale. Which is a little bit of a bummer. Ah, uh, for fuck's sakes, folks. I couldn't get that from the bottle, but from the glass. This smells reminding me of generic energy drink. But, ingredient-wise, it is definitely not generic energy drink. Ah, uh, it smells like generic energy drink. Maybe a ginger ale as well. I told you, it's got sugar. There's only like seven things in it. Sugar, spring water, ginseng. Or ginger or whatever the fuck. Grana, yerba mate, lemon juice, and lemongrass. So, how it's coming out to smell like a ginger ale and a like Red Bull kind of smell is beyond me. Didn't think it would look that way, but cheers to non taste.
very, very crisp and bubbly. This has carbonation of like a bubbly soda, and this tastes like a soda pop. Really, it's very bubbly and carbonated when you take your sip in. It kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me of like a soda pop style ginger ale. Crisp, very bubbly. It's got like that a taste you get off like pop sometimes. Okay, I can taste a bit of the lemon, I guess. I don't think it. I don't know if I taste the lemongrass, but yeah, I guess I'm getting some lemon taste out of it a bit. Not anything hardcore lemon, but I guess there's some lemon that taste. But yeah, somehow in the glass, it smells and looks like the generic energy drink. But taste-wise, it's a bubbly, carbonated taste. The taste, like the feel and taste, makes me think more soda pop. It's kind of like if they tried to do like a, it's almost like, honestly, I'm going to say this, even though it may not be true to what I'm meaning. But it's almost like if I'm drinking, say, some lemon Canada Dry kind of drink here. That's what it's kind of like, folks. Not dead on to that, but I don't know how else to word it. So, I mean, it's like this lemony ginger pop thingy or something. I don't know. I guess it's the best way I can describe it, folks. So, cool bottle. Like, the bottle is a cool thing. The yerba mate is a cool thing. How it's better ingredients for you is a cool thing, but taste-wise, uh, not a bad thing. It's not a cool thing. Uh. Rocker Energy. And the vanilla Gatorade protein shake.